selling newspapers are right in front of Tom Phillips' newspaper office. Looks to me like a dangerous way to get rid of old papers. It's not like Tom to want to burn up the whole town. I'm afraid something's wrong. scared all the people indoors. Now, where's Tom Phillips? Gone for the sheriff. I thought you were a couple of red barrels, man. They come in here, beat us up, and wrecked the office. Press. Who are you? I'm Dave Lowry. Tom's printer. Who's Red Barrows? He runs the gambling house. Oh, and I suppose Tom has been writing them in the newspaper. Tor, run outside and see if you can find a piece of paper that hasn't been burnt. Tom and the sheriff have been running a campaign to vote out gambling at Red Gulch. I thought gambling was legal. It is, in the state, but any community can vote it out. Did Tom ask you to come help him? No, Tom's too much of a fighter to ask for any help. We just happened to be in this section of the country, and we thought we'd drop in and say hello. Thanks, Tora. Vote no for gambling. Gambling is the prelude to robbery and murder. Did you say Tom and the sheriff were running this campaign together? That's right. All the crime we got in Red Gulch comes from that gambling house. Town's people, he's got them all buffaloed. They're afraid to move against him. He's got the toughest gang of gunmen working for him. Shouldn't Tom be back by this time? Mm -hmm. I'll run over to see them at the office. Take care of them, Toro. They'll both be glad to see you. Is going to do with Phillips? They're taking the dead man's oath. Are they going to hang him? He just killed his old friend, the sheriff. I told you I didn't intend to let the sheriff and Phillips run us out of business. Let's go to dead man's oak. I want to see it. It wouldn't be wise, Lola. Those are three indignant citizens who happen to see Phillips kill his old friend in cold blood. Let them deal out justice. I hope you'll never turn against me, Red. Where are you heading, stranger? The sheriff's office. Any objections? No objections. But you may as well save yourself the trouble. The sheriff's just been killed. They caught the killer red-handed and took him out to be hanged. Who did? Some of the citizens. And you sat here and watched them? I've learned to mind my own business. Who killed him? A man named Phillips. You must know him. What's the matter with you? I believe that man is Kit Carson. You know him? When I was living in Los Angeles, somebody pointed him out to me.
alive. Take care of him. about Carson. He shouldn't have gone after those men alone. Well, they made him angry, and he's mad. Oh, he's coming now with one of them. Nice to see you, Tom. Do you know this man? Sure do. That's one of Red Barrow's men. Let's take him to town and have a friendly talk with him. I can tell you anything he can. Barrows is out in the open now. It will be a war to the finish. Well, count us in on that war. Let's get going. Your frijoles are as charming as your beautiful self, senorita. Only I could make them better. Perhaps you would permit me someday to cook them for you, huh? Sometime. How can I ever repay you? With a song? Or perhaps your fortune, eh? Want to permiso? Yes, go ahead. What does my hand tell you? That you are the lovely senorita in all California. You are a droll one, El Toro. But you had better leave now. Here. You have gold. Then why did you come begging to my back door? <laughs> when I left the Southland, my friends told me that if I should come by way of Red Gulch, I should look for Lola Lavada. She is... The, the most beautiful senorita in all California. Those friends also told you I'm a singer at the Lucky Aces, no doubt. Why did you not come there? Well, this room is so much more intimate, uh, so much more charming than a gambling house. And more private than the hotel dining room? Perhaps you are one of my countrymen whose picture hangs on the sheriff's offices throughout the country, huh? My friends told me that you were discreet, that you could be trusted. Who are those friends? And who are you? What is your name? Nobody was ever christened Del Toro. Oh, you needn't fear the sheriff around here. He was killed this afternoon. My friends were right. You are to be trusted. At least with your name. But now tell me of yourself. Uh, later. Uh, first I must find a place to sleep. Uh, do you have a spare room you would care to rent? I have no spare room. Well, a place on the floor would do. If anyone asks who I am, just say your cousin from Los Angeles. <laughs> Well, they brought him around. He's back at his office, trying to put things in order with Lowry and that stranger helping him. Mm. If they get that press going again, they'll have a paper out tomorrow telling how you and the boys went in and killed the sheriff then tried to hang Phillips for it. Well, it's not too late to do something about that. They can't get out a paper without Lowry. Pick him up when he goes home for supper. Where do you want us to bring him? Bring him over to the Lucky Aces. El Toro, my cousin from Los Angeles. Mucho gusto en conocerle, Senor Ed. He is coming to the Lucky Aces tonight to hear me sing. Oh, no, no. Uh, public places makes me nervous. I told you there is nothing to be afraid of. Well, then perhaps I'll come, but late in the evening. Hasta luego. Eh? Who is he? I told you. A cousin from Los Angeles. You've talked about your family, but I never heard you mention a cousin named El Toro. Everyone has a cousin they don't like to talk about. Oh, the black sheep in the family, huh? Just don't get too affectionate with his cousin, El Toro. I 
just had a talk with Pete over at the jail. I couldn't find out anything. He claims he never worked for Barrows. We know better than that. Because you couldn't expect to get anything out of him. What about the miners? The miners have been too busy even to care. But if I can get out a paper with all the facts, I'm sure they'll back us to the limit. Let's see if we can give Lowry a hand with his work. Now, Toyle is back. I bet the young lady you told us about. She's not my cousin. Did you find out anything? Well, it's too soon for that. But they think I'm a bandido from the south. I'm hoping they'll invite me to join them. What about the press, Dave? I can fix it, but the job will take eight or nine hours. Stay with it. Maybe I can be your helper. This is going to be a race against time. If we can get a paper into the hands of the miners by morning, I'm sure we'll win. And if we don't? I'm very much afraid none of us will live to see another sundown. Why don't we just walk over there and take him? He wouldn't live to cross the threshold. How many men has he got? Five or six on the payroll. Twenty or thirty more hangers on that would back him up. Here's my headline. Barrel Sluggers Murder Sheriff. This is a new way for me to fight. But maybe you're right, Tom. Journal. You're going to work for me. Now, if you agree to that, you'll be treated good. What do you say? Go on with the beating. That's too tiresome. But if you don't agree to work for me, I'll break every finger on your hands. Break them so you'll never set another line of type in your life. What do you say? Time up and gag and put in that closet. Lock it. Lowry's been gone since eight. He wouldn't take two hours for supper when he knew I needed him. The barrels must have got him. He left the boarding house more than an hour ago. That makes us I'm helpless without him. I guess it's time for me to go over and see Red Barrow. Not yet, Kit. Lola is expecting me over there. Maybe I can find out where Lowry is, if he's alive, and then we can both go for him. I think Al Toro's right. All right, but no fights. Just find out where he is. Never in my whole life have I heard such a voice. Good, huh? Oh, magnifico. Such a talent as yours is wasted in a place like this. A voice like yours belongs in the opera houses of Paris, Milan, and Buenos Aires. Hmm, you have traveled. Widely. Come here for a minute, Lola. Wait. For you, Lola, El Toro would wait forever. table. Quick, out the window. Come get, I'll see him later. I'm sorry I had to keep you waiting. Were you know Desolate. I was only gone a minute. Yeah, come, uh, sit on the couch and uh, console me. Huh? Give me the copy, Chief. The press is waiting. Good work, Dave. <laughs> I think El Toro is at the back door. I was getting worried about him. The longer he hangs around after releasing Lowry, the less they're apt to suspect him. I'd like to see the look on Barrow's face when he opens that closet door. So would I. I don't think they look for me till morning. Come in. Now, here's the food for Lowry. If you want to get the best out of anyone, 
First treat them with firmness, then with kindness. Open up that closet door. What's the matter with? Somebody let Lowry out. Did you see anybody around here tonight? Why, no. Do you think the boys would have let anyone come in? Your cousin was in here. You or I, the two of us, have been the only ones in here all the time, except for just one little minute. Somebody must have come in through the window when the office was empty. When you were in here with El Toro and I came in and took you out, you were gone more than a minute. So I was gone a minute and ten seconds. Would that give him time to let Lowry out? Oh, you're local, Red. El Toro only left here a few minutes ago. If he had been the one to let Lowry loose, do you think he would have hung around here for hours afterwards? They're sending up a paper. I just heard the press going. Who's in there? I don't know. I couldn't get a look inside. They got the shades pulled down. Mm. Get down to the miner's supply store. Get some dynamite and a fuse. But they're closed. Do you think I wanted you to buy it? How much do you need, Red? Enough to blow up the whole plant. And everyone in it, clear to the moon. Take Monty with you. Just think. They're going to give Lowry some food and coffee. That's human nature for you. Now, don't you get funny. I'm not in the mood for it. I thought you wanted to take over the paper, elect the next sheriff and run the town. What good will it do to blow it up? A lot of good with Carson, Phillips, and Lowry inside. They're coming off fast now, kid. Charging in and suddenly running away. I guess they didn't figure on you and El Toro being here. Could be the attack was a cover up for something else. Anybody want it? I'll explode it. How will he explode it safely? He'll shoot into it from a distance. Probably Barrows is sitting in his place right now, waiting to hear it go off. Yeah. Maybe they'll hear the explosion and come to see what's happened. Then we'll give him a hot reception. I don't think they'll come back. That explosion is bound to bring a lot of people out. Barrows and his men will be lying low. Yeah, well, I'll be getting back to the press. You think anything more will happen tonight, Kit? I don't think so. And I think I'll go to bed. dynamite in the office before it went off. Someone took it across the street and exploded it in the field. That's the explosion we heard. Then they have had all night to get out the paper. And if the miners get it, then we're through. Who's that? I don't know. Boy, boy. El Toro, how did you get in here? I went through the window. When? When Lola was sleeping, I told my charming cousin that I couldn't go to a hotel or to a room and house. He's wanted as a reward out for him. Just who are you, El Toro? Tell him, my beautiful cousin. I think he can be trusted. <laughs> She's too modest to brag about her family connections. I'm Claudio, the bandit. Sit down, Claudio. Lola, get him a cup of coffee quickly. And some frijoles for my breakfast. There's huh? no time for breakfast now. You want to make some money fast? Everybody wants to make money. I want you to kill two men. I'd do it myself, but only a stranger can get near them now. 
Who are these two men? A newspaper publisher named Phillips and Kit Carson. Oh, Kit Carson. How does it? $1,000 for the newspaper man and $2,000 for Carson. He's dangerous. It's a deal. Never mind the coffee, Lola. I'll take you out there right away. Start shooting as soon as you see Carson. Try to get him first. Where's Kit? He and Tom just rode out with a pack horse, rode with papers. How long ago? Only a few minutes. Get out the back door quick and stay there. Barrows is right outside. Well, what about you? I'm with him. It's a double cross. He's coming up now. Go on. There was only one man in there. His name was Lowry. Why didn't you kill him? I was hired to kill Carson and Phillips. You want me to kill three men for the price of two? Get the boys. Tell them to bring the horses. Get up. We'll get them on the trail. They haven't been gone too long. circle out to the west, then turn north of the draw. We got a good chance of reaching them before they reach the mining claims. What's the sense of me going up? I cost you too much. Yeah, you get paid. I don't know if it's legal of me to appoint a temporary sheriff, but I guess it'll be all right till we can hold an election. Meanwhile, Red Barrows and all his men are in jail. Where are you going, Toro? Tescot, Senorita Lola Lavada to Red Barrows in jail. Wait for me. I'd like to meet her once. <laughs> Goodbye, Tom. Bye, boys.